back to the channel. My name is Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens. I don't know why my arm is pointing over somewhere that you can't see. I want to show off a pen. This is not... Th this pen is wildly cool and the nib is extra cool. So together, the pair is just outstanding. I don't know where I put the box. I don't care about boxes, so whatever. Here's the pen. <laughs> this is made by River City Pen Company. So this is made by Rich, and this is the Westwood model in the Operex Sunset Lavender material. This pen was a gift from someone dear and special to me that I met through the pen world. So another reason the pen world is very cool, it brings people together. Let's, let's look at the nib, I guess. Let's do that. Uh, but just so you could see the material, it is wild. It is this opalescent, like magenta, slightly translucent. You can actually see the nib ever so slightly through the cap. Um, at different angles, it's green, it's a bit of orange, absolutely beautiful material, really well-made pen, such a cool pen, such a cool pen. I really don't want to focus too much on the statistics, the data, statistics, the data, but just so you can see the size of the pen. Here we have a Leonardo Memento Zio Grande, here is the River City Pen Company Westwood, here is a Leonardo Memento Zero, the Mont Blanc 146. So in terms of size, it's closest to the 146, uh, bigger than the Metropolitan, Lamy Safari, Jin Hao X750, Twisby 580, Platinum Preppy, and Quebec Sport. So it is, it's not a huge pen. It's, I actually really like the size of this pen. It's very comfortable. It's just so cool. Look at that. Anyway, the material is spe spectacular and when we uncap it, the nib is spectacular. So what this nib is, it, this nib is made by Monty Winfield, and I will link to him. It is called the Seagull Nib. I know it's crazy. I really like seagulls. I know they're annoying. I know they steal people's food, and they're a nightmare and torment for many. But I think they're really neat, so I really like them. <laughs> I don't know why. I just... I don't know, they do cute things, like stomp their little feet and go meh, 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 and pee, like the babies do that. So I really like them, and when I saw the seagull nib, the design of it is fascinating. So it's, it's just fascinating. I'm going to zoom in, so prepare yourselves. You can see how it is shaped. It, like, comes up. And so this is a Yovo nib, Yovo number six. So it's just a standard nib size. It has Monty's engraving on it. He does absolutely exquisite work. It is so cool, but more excitingly is how it writes. So let's do writing. So what we have, so this isn't a pen review. It's not a nib review. This is just, I'm a big pen and nib geek. And this is like the most exciting type of things for me to do is just to play with it, to share it with you. So right side up, like the normal way, you have, did I ink it? I mean, did I re-ink it? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. This is not the pens or nibs fault. This is my fault. Uh, the ink is quite sheeny. Uh, not quite sheeny, just saturated. There we go. So right side up, you get a nice medium wet medium and it feels so neat to write on it's so fascinating like the shape is just fascinating it is smooth and very very well tuned it is absolutely not a flex nib do not apply pressure there is a weld you don't want to put strain on it super cool however even cooler when you flip it onto its back, you get this. I love you people. <laughs> Honestly, it's just so fun. What do I do with this? I try to draw. I hand letter. So let's write... Well, first of all, I try to copy Monty's signature, which is something like this. 
which you can only do with this kind of nib. Otherwise, it just doesn't look right. Monty. It just, I mean, I guess maybe it looks okay. There's the nib signature. I absolutely don't need this nib. It's just so cool, and I appreciate our pen makers and nib makers so much, and when I have a little bit of disposable income, I like to spend it on exciting things, and this is exciting. So he ground this at 30 degrees for me. It is absolutely perfect. It is a super cool nib, fantastic writer. Sometimes I just like address my friends like this. So um, I will, <laughs> I'll be like, let's just write dear rich. Oh, sorry. It's so big that I'm going off the screen. Let me zoom out a little now. Dear Rich. Okay, I really can't draw. Hang on, let me flip this over. It did hard start there a little bit. I don't care. I love the amount of ink it puts down. I love the way it puts it down. It's really a beautiful nib for drawing. I can't draw. I, I'm not, I'm not a drawer. This is so technically incorrect. There's an eyeball. There you go. That's the best I can do. Um, I'm going to turn the page. That's going to smear, whatever. I'm going to write. Hello. And then, so for example, you can do like faux calligraphy. There. So much fun. So I use these kinds of nibs for when I am bored with life or need something fun to do or I'm watching something or I'm practicing like calligraphy or I'm trying to brush up on my French. Like I'll write down words or sentences and just make it fun and then put it in a notebook and then it's a fun notebook. So that's the kind of stuff I do with these things. Is it like life changing? Absolutely not. Maybe not for everybody else, but it is for me because it makes me happy. So super cool. Let's do some side writing. We'll do side writing. I'm not going to come back. We don't need to do anything with that. I will put links for you to check it out. Thank you to this friend. I don't want to name them, but they know who they are, obviously. And thank you to Rich at River City for the very cool pen and the very fantastic work. And to Monty for creating this amazing thing for people to enjoy. I'm super grateful for all of you. And to all of you viewers, enjoy the next part. We'll see you next time. Thank you.